before I even start the finales of the Sir Spooks, he uploaded. So I have no choice. I got to react to the most recent one, then go back to the 66. And then when I'm doing the 66, then I'll get back into Bizarre Bub. You guys are going to have like infinite content when it comes to these horror reactions. So find me more channels. I have Bizarre, I have Sir Spooks, and I have Nukes. If there's any other type of horror you guys want to see, let me know, please. Like short horror films, I don't mind those. Someone that just, just jump scare you. I just want scary videos. It's cool to see these real life ghost videos or these scary individuals could be, you know, humans or these creatures or, you know, skinwalkers and all that kind of sorts. I wouldn't mind exploring the whole region of like people's work of art, like true horror, like movie shorts, like, like horror movie shorts. I wouldn't mind. I've done, I've done a few of them in the past. It's not on this channel. It's on my other channels in Puppy 2. If you want to check it out, go to Puppy 2. Just go scroll down until you find pro horror films. And yeah, that being said, I'm going to just click on this 13 scary videos that will haunt your sleep. Ironically, I broke night. It is 8 a.m. I didn't go to bed. Oh, well, I went to bed at four. Try to close my eyes. Was that successful? Got up. My wife made me coffee, which is what you see right here. And if you actually heat up, if you put hot water or if you put hot coffee or hot tea in this, this will all turn white and show the true colors. But if this is what you like, it'll be in my merch store in my description. I'm gonna go watch this video and then go to bed. And I'll tell you guys in post if it haunted me. If it didn't, I won your challenge. Sir Spook. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at 13 scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more scary content. Damn. Alright, with that said, Play. let's begin. Let's talk shit about me. The first two videos we'll be taking a look at today both come to us from a TikTok account run by a woman named Rosanna, whose house is allegedly quite haunted by some strange spirits. Throughout mm. the duration of the first video, it's clear that there's something wrong happening inside of Rosanna's house. Take a look at the eerie footage and see for yourself. I'm looking. It's just a toy room. It's not only my toy room. That's like French, I think. That's why I would never buy a rock, like anything rocking. Rocking chair. Rocking horse. Rocking toys. Anything that can rock. Out of my house. Oh my god, I'm not looking. This is gonna be a fuck around into bed. Nope. Okay, set up. Bro, I'll be out the house. As you can see, for some bizarre reason, the lights inside of her home continuously turn on and off, all the while a child's rocking chair can be seen moving back and forth all by itself. A second video that Rosanna posted a little while later second? is even more creepy than the first. Encore, the footage, so it happened again. As Rosanna's adorable pet cat seems to be curious about yeah. something inside of the house. It is then seen wandering off somewhere down the hallway to investigate, but is suddenly scared by something that we cannot see. Take a look and watch the horrors unfold. Is it because I'm legally blind? I cannot see. I'm legally blind. I'm too old for TikTok. That's a whole ass. Go well, after your cat, girl. Go cat now with. Hmm. 
The cat lets out a frightening scream while Rosanna quickly hurries over to the aid of her beloved pet. Hurry? You call that hurry? Sadly, the video ends before we get to see any more corners of the house, leaving us to wonder what exactly is inside Rosanna's home and why it is scaring both her and her cat. The only one that she has, mind you. Let's just hope that she's able to figure this mystery out and go back to living in peace with her pet friend. And so like that, you gotta find the source of whatever could be the haunting. Or just retrace your steps. This bullshit was not happening until ABC. Or this bullshit was not happening until we moved into this home. If you moved into the home and shit like this started to happen, that's the reason why the house was vacant before you get in there. If you went to a thrift store, if you went to like a Salvation Army, if you went to like a yard sale or you bought something this and that and you bring it to your home and then a few weeks later something happened keep a record of all the things you bought even though i have a lot of toys uh anything happens i got this but uh, i do hope this girl most likely i mean i can't say it's in france because there's a lot of places that do speak french because it was colonized by French. Example, parts of Morocco, you have Canada, and quite a bit of African countries that speak French too. I'm not gonna assume this is in France, but wherever you're at, hope everything is good now. Think of a place that you would absolutely not want to live nearby, no matter what. Think of a place? Either next to a cemetery or next to my sister. Mostly next to my sister, but second place would be next to a cemetery. I'm willing to bet that a good amount of you guys watching this video right now said a cemetery. <gasps> and for good reason. You could see into my mind? No, fuck. I mean, after all, who wants to live close to such a creepy place where there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of dead bodies decomposed in the ground? True. Well, I mean, as it turns out, yeah. this TikTok user known as mechandloop.off lives right near cemetery and has experienced some truly creepy stuff as a result. In this first video, we watch as the man steps out to his yard and begins to record something in the distance that we can't quite make out. Another French! Then, just as the quiet begins to settle in, it is suddenly disturbed. Watch this and listen. If you're French, you're dumb. A cool elephant. A cool elephant. I guess I was at a cemetery and you could hear the cries. Watch to the end. Out of nowhere, a woman can be heard screaming from somewhere close by, but the uploader is not able to determine A, who the woman screaming is, and B, where exactly the source of the scream is. In a second video that was posted by the uploader, we watch as he does an actual investigation of the cemetery itself. For the first couple of seconds, it and appears I? as if there isn't going to be anything of interest to see. But then that all changes when the camera pans and shows this wall. Fuck no. I'm trying to say I don't know any words because French is close to Latin. Creepily, the word help can be seen written on the wall in blood. To this day, oh. it has never been solved. Oh. Who was the woman who was heard screaming from somewhere oh. near the uploader's house, seemingly coming from the cemetery? And better yet, why was she screaming? Was she in some kind of terrible danger? We may never get the answer. Just no. That's just my answer. Just no. I have no other retort. I have no other ways of this. Just no. Just no. Don't go to a cemetery. If you live next to a cemetery, I mean, my dad did. And I dealt with a kind of 
little ghost named Timmy. So I have an autistic brother. I said this story back in the past, but it's been months and I got a new audience by now. But I have an autistic brother. And my dad uh, lives in a condominium. Next to the condominium is a cemetery. Back when I was a wee little lad, I think it's like 12, 13 years old. So 13 years ago. Half my life ago. You just look fucking retirement homes. God damn it. Now I feel sad. The custody situation between my mom and my dad was every second weekend is my dad's. And my autistic brother is not my full brother. He's my half brother. My dad remarried and had two more kids. I have two half brothers because of that. I will say around like seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, my baby brother be laughing and just dying laughing. Both me and my sister's like, yo, go to bed. It's still early. Just go to sleep. And my brother's like, oh, but Timmy's making jokes. He's in the corner making jokes. We must have lock eyes with each other. To the corner. Look back at him. Home to shut the fuck up and go back to bed. And the youngest of my baby brothers had a birthday in December. Had a balloon. And again, it's still over the weekend because I see the reasons. Same exact thing. Woke up around like seven, eight o'clock in the morning. My autistic brother's laughing. Like, yo, go to bed. We're tired. We went to bed at three o'clock in the morning, watching scary movies. Go to bed. He's like, no. Timmy's making me laugh. Timmy's making jokes. He's playing with the balloon. For context, there was a balloon because my youngest turned four or five. But there was a balloon in the very corner of the room where my oldest baby brother said Timmy was playing with the balloon. I shoot you guys die. The fucking balloon started moving. It was free floating from the corner to the center of the room. And it's like something pulled it down. And it was just free floating. And it was a brand spanking new balloon. It was not low on helium. It, it was a brand new balloon. That was my paranormal experience. So me and my sister did what any person with reasonable common sense would do. We got up. We put a chair on the door. I called my mom to pick us up. And that day on, we no longer had that custody right to stay in my dad's house for the weekend. We're like, no, we just don't want to go there. And we did it. While working at an old farm early one morning, sorting out the electrical issues in the chicken shed, this Reddit user saw a car in the middle of the shed. The work was for Our a caravan about 200 feet away shed? from the shed, where the supply was located. He took a video of the car because he simply... I guess you can say it's a chicken coop. I guess you can say that's a panda. Alright, I'll delete my channel. It's okay. I'll delete it. He felt like it. Little did he know that in doing so, he would accidentally record a genuinely bone chilling video that is guaranteed to shake you to the core. Uh oh, Watch this he's using nukes words. Shook you to your core. To think thousands of the chickens are supposed to be in there. Towards the end of the video, he sees a figure peeking out through a doorway. The only entrance and exit of the building were behind him at the time, and the other doors were all locked. The people he was working with were talking with the owner of the caravan inside when this was shut, so he mm. ran over to see if they were playing any tricks on him. However, they were in the middle of a conversation, and all said they hadn't been near the shed for 10 to 20 minutes. To this day, the uploader has not been able to figure out what went on that day, and it seems unlikely that he will ever get to the bottom of things. But what do you guys think? Do you have any theories and possible explanations here? If so, be sure to let me know in the comments. It's empty is haunted. I'm a
Ten, 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 tens on your titties, TikTok, bitch. A woman named Lex posted a chilling video to her account Luther? that is going to make you a little bit hesitant to go near any of your childhood toys. In the video, Lex explains that she was woken up at 10.50 in the morning after hearing something weird in her house. Take a listen. You guys, I'm freaking the f out. Do you hear that? No. That is the bus. bubble bath crab in the rest. Baby bubble bath. It just turned on out of nowhere. And I feel like I'm about to have a panic attack. Jax, come on. Bubble bath. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come with me. Come on. Come on. Please, my dog won't even come. Come on, buddy. He's coming. Your dog don't want to go. That's a tattoo sign. Out of town? A Pokemon? As it turns oh my out, god, it's so scary! The strange noise belongs to that of a toy crab that belongs to her young one. She says that she heard it going off inside the bathroom, and obviously, she doesn't think her kid is awake so early in Bitch, the morning. 2.50 a.m. She then makes an effort to start investigating the area and asks her pet dog if he can accompany her while she does so. Bitch. But interestingly enough, the dog refuses to follow her. Of course, the dog is smart. It too is too afraid to go anywhere near the bathroom. That dog from Georgia. What could the dog possibly be sensing? Danger. Nonetheless, Lex eventually manages to convince her dog to follow her over to the bathroom. White guilt. She walks into the bathroom and points her camera, and it's here in which we see, sure enough, the toy Oh my God! The <gasps> of by itself. So scary. What do you guys think was going on here? Why was this toy crab making noises all by itself when the kid it belonged to wasn't anywhere near in sight? Is there something truly sinister going on inside of this home? If so, hopefully Lex is able to look into moving out and moving into a new home ASAP. Rocky. The thing is, the recording once it went off. There could be another individual in the house. I hit the button, walked out somewhere else, stopped moving, and then she just hit recording and saying, Bitch, I'm scared. Bitch, my dog's not coming. Bitch, this. Like, that could be an obvious explanation. I mean, with this type of stuff, most likely this is waterproof, but it's still something with technology. With enough water, things could turn on without it really... Having it being touch, it happens. I experienced that a bunch of times because toys got wet and I made noise because it's wet. The following video comes to us from a Reddit user who uploaded a scary piece of footage over to the Skinwalker subreddit. Because Skinwalker. he thinks that while he was outside late one night, he heard some Skinwalkers in the distance. Take a look and have a listen. That's that skinwalkers. That's holy. F That is not a skinwalker. The that is eerie. Clip, as you just heard, Oof. some terrifying screaming and yelling noises can be heard coming from somewhere deep inside the forest, and they don't seem to stop or slow down whatsoever. They sound inhuman and like they belong to something else, which is probably why the uploaders convinced that they belong to that of skinwalkers, which certainly adds up. What the huntress from in Navajo. Yeah, about daylight. A skinwalker refers to a malevolent witch capable of transforming into, possessing, or disguising themselves as an animal. This term is specifically reserved for harmful witches and never applied to healers. These witches are viewed as opposites to Navajo values, oh. engaging in dark rituals and using manipulative Native magic, Americans, in contrast to the healing practices of medicine people. Others, however, believe that the noises are coming from coyotes. Either way, it's not the kind of noise you'd like to hear outside late at night. Of course. Night. Oh no. 
So what do you guys think? Do you think these horrifying screams belong to that of skinwalkers? Or do you think that these screams were the result of something else entirely? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Alright, I'm not in his comments. You guys can be in my comments. So if you want to go to his comments, obviously it's Sir Spooks. But if you want to be in my comments to comment about the comment he wants you to comment about. I live in a super urban area. I grew up in very urban. I, you know, technically where I live now is slightly suburban. It still has an herb, herb, bourbon? Bourbon. I love bourbon. A very alcohol type of drink. But I'm still in the city. I never ever been countryside. But I wouldn't even know where to start for like animals sounds and how a deer sounds, how a moose sounds, how uh fish sounds, how coyote sounds, or how the people in the deep south call it coyotes. I don't know how coyotes sound like. For four seconds or for that going on, either it's mating season for some type of animal or deforestation make a city no longer time for living in the countryside you gotta make it now a city you won't be able to hear shit like that if it's a buzzing city on tiktok a user known as ganda space says that she was just outside taking some footage of this eerie abandoned shed when she suddenly noticed that she might not be as alone as she initially thought okay. she was. For the first while of the video, it seems and I got not got crazy is happening, but it becomes clear in just a matter of moments that this abandoned shed may not be so abandoned after all. Uh -huh. Look at this. Okay. Hell no. I was alone in the woods. That's the start of every horror movie. I can't flush this abandoned shack. So glad I didn't notice until later screenshots in case you missed it. Enhanced video. If you look carefully, oh. you should be able to make out what appears to be some kind of a lanky creature near the shed. Some people believe that this creepy entity may be a skinwalker. The uploader says that or at the time of the video's initial recording, she did not notice the creature near her, but she states that she's glad she didn't, probably because it would have terrified her even more in person. What do you guys think this scary creature is? Is it a skinwalker? Another creature? Or is this not a creature at all, and something much less sinister, such as a person in a costume? Be sure to share your thoughts Crackhead. down below. Really easy to explain. Crackhead. Almost person. Oh god. UFO sightings have long fascinated and puzzled people worldwide, often sparking debates about extraterrestrial life and the mysteries of our universe. These sightings can be incredibly unique due to their varied descriptions and contexts. The one that we'll be taking a look at in a moment is definitely one of the most fascinating UFO sightings you'll see in a long time. The uploader states that the video was shot at 9.45pm on the 26th of November 2011 okay. along a wooded section of I-10 in the Panhandle of Florida, just north of Panama City. Upon seeing the craft, the videographer jumped out of their truck and began shooting video. The craft fried the camera, but the memory card remained intact. The craft was flying low to the ground and emitted a strange glow. Let's take a look at the video and see for ourselves.
just by taking a look at the footage, it almost seems like something you'd see ripped straight out of a horror movie. There's I mean, just something so awful about be a bit video more that feels so chilling. Quality, but... This is undoubtedly a fascinating piece of footage, and one that UFO enthusiasts will likely find themselves re-watching over and over again. I have no explanation. I honestly don't. This next video was posted to TikTok by a user known as WV Paranormal and showcases footage of him wandering around the forest with his two young kids, simply trying to enjoy their day. It initially seems like it's going to be a wholesome and innocent video, but that all changes rather quickly when the uploader's son proceeds to ask him, What's that, Dad? The young boy then points to something in the distance, and it's clear in just a few seconds that the family is not alone in the woods as they That's had hoped. a Sasquatch. Take a look and see for yourself. There's a whole Guys. Sasquatch. What's that, Dad? I don't... A jump. Let's go. Let's go back inside. Come on. Come on, guys. Dad, I want to play with it. I got push. <laughs> Fuck in the house. That shit got jumped. What? Sign that man to an NBA contract. In the distance, I'm not Lakers. Some kind of strange creature can be seen jumping up a tree. It's at this point that the dad orders his kids to follow him back inside their house, to which they thankfully listen. Yeah. Nobody knows for sure what exactly that creature was. But it's just a good thing the family was able to get to safety inside their that house could be a monkey. before they were able to figure out for themselves. Be a monkey. Only that easy to explain, monkey. Amusement parks are fun because they offer a unique blend of excitement, adventure, and nostalgia, creating True. an atmosphere where people of all ages can escape from everyday life. True. However, sometimes going to an amusement park can be scary, as the following YouTube video uploaded by user known as Cryptid Hunter proves. Watch if you dare. Oh, I dared. Oh, wait. A third person, well, fourth person is not there. Huh. In the video, we watch as a group of friends sits on an amusement park ride, and they all seem to be having a great time. At one point in the video, though, the person recording flips the camera to show herself with her friends in the seat having fun. But it's here in which things take an eerie turn. Watch carefully and see if you notice anything unusual. <laughs> Did you see it? At around the 20 second mark, a woman can be seen smiling at the camera while sitting in the seat. But then a few seconds later, she mysteriously disappears and is never seen again in the entire video. Who is this woman, and where could she have possibly gone? I'm agile. The footage has caused many people who have watched it to speculate that the strange woman on the ride was a ghost that perhaps was just trying to have a bit of fun in the afterlife. I... Despite the fact that this video dates all the way back to 2008, the mystery has never been solved. What's interesting to note as well is that apparently a young woman once got her life taken away as a result of this ride malfunctioning, losing mm. her head. Could this be that woman's ghost? We Ooh. may never find out for sure, but we can always continue to speculate. I mean, stuff like that could happen. You know, people get hurt sometimes on these rides. That's why they're amusement parks. And even though, yes, they're supposed to be there for your amusement, but if you survive your incident, uh, you'll be amused by a very nice, beautiful, 
lawsuit for those who are not fortunate enough to survive whatever injuries from these malfunctioning rides because remember these rides are put out for maybe a two three weeks and then they're all broken down broken down next location put out use the deconstructed to get reconstructed there's a lot of wear and tear that happens i'm not sure how consistent is their maintenance routine but things can happen people are human sometimes a human may lose your life because of machinery and it happens but if you are a spirit and you want to enjoy i get it with this one being a 2008 video i have the words A YouTuber named Novice Wild Camp has gained quite a following on the platform oh. for frequent videos to his channel that typically follow him as he camps in various different places yep. I know and who he talks is. about his experiences. I know who he is. A lot of the videos that you can watch on his channel are entertaining and relaxing. He camped in the Walmart. channel that sticks out like a sore thumb. In the video, we watch as the uploader heads out to the woods to do some vlogging as per usual. But on this particular day, things don't necessarily go as planned for the uploader, as you're about to see. Take a look at this bizarre part of the video that shows the use of a thermal camera picking up something unexplainable. So this is the uh, infrared flare vision on my camera. You can see that's my hammock. That's Vision's actually fucking like nifty and smart. That cool down ages ago. So keep me in loads of mice and things I've got it about of oh, mice okay around there Ooh, the hand there's two handprints nah if I would have seen two handprints I would have been out that bitch just put my torch on that wasn't there two seconds ago I swear that wasn't there. And your torch in two. the American freedom language means flashlight. In the Queen's English, torch is a flashlight. It's another handprint. A lot of handprints. I speak oh, oh, oh. I know what torch means. Uh, nah, you can see, bro, just go home. Two different handprints were seen on the thermal camera, much to the confusion and horror of the uploader. Let's go home, man. Just a couple of minutes later, while simply trying to rest and talk to the camera, the uploader is suddenly startled by a strange noise he hears in the distance. It's weird. It's in the distance. It's not. It's not close. But it's like you. You can definitely. Wolf? I don't know if you heard. I don't know if you heard that. If I picked it up on the mic or not. That one sounded more like a wolf. But we haven't. We haven't got any wolves in this country. It could possibly be a dog. A furry. I've never heard that. I've never heard anything like that. Or furry. Whilst camping. I'm not in. It could be furries in Canada or like Canada. It could be races in the UK. That's just weird. Use your infrared. Sounds like a wolf howling in the distance. Although the interesting thing to note is that there are no wolves in the country he's camping in. So that rules that explanation out. Migration, they so could travel. Could possibly have been keeping this YouTuber company in the woods that day. Was it another type of animal? If so, do you think it was one that wanted to scare him away or not? Let me know in the comments. Huskies? I don't know. Talked by a user going by the name Dreadlim21. Dreadlim. Sure to give you okay. The chills. 
In the footage, Ooh. we watch as oh. the woman recording simply lays down in bed with her adorable video grave just trying to enjoy the day. Okay. However, in just a matter of February. seconds, something absolutely terrifying shows up on camera that is guaranteed to make you lose some sleep tonight. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, a little doggy dog. For some strange reason, the face of an unknown woman can be seen lying on the floor. It's presumed that the person who recorded the video has no idea who this strange woman is and what she's doing in her bedroom. What do you guys think was going on here? I don't know. Was there perhaps some kind of a ghostly entity paying yes. this woman a visit? If so, I mean, it was quick. The reason why I mean, unless they put like a fake thing there and then took it down. That's pretty. A YouTuber named Charles Taylor posted an extremely fascinating video to his channel on like August 23rd, 2012, in which he explains that he was out with his friends in Norway, near a no lake, way. trying to test out a camera. However, in trying to do so, he accidentally ended up filming something that he says he has no idea what is, but is hoping that people who watch the footage can help him out. Take a look. Norway is just Australians saying no way. Dude, it just broke into two now. Maybe it's two now it's gone. Snakes, maybe. Yes, everything makes two. Oh. Nope, now it started up again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's ice. Pretty sure ice doesn't move that quickly. No, I, there's no, there's no way there, that's a motorboat. That's bizarre. We're way too high up. There's no access. Dude, if that was a snake, there's no way we could see it from this height. Snake? Yeah. Oh, there it goes again. Arcticonda? Dude, that's my explanation. You guys ready to go soon? Uh, I'd like to watch this a little longer. If that's okay. A woman? It's never okay. You can't have one. As you can see, With women around? There is definitely you can't have some one. Sort of a strange never. Moving around in the water, which the uploader calls the Norwegian worm monster, in the title of the YouTube video. Norwegian worm it's monster. It's definitely a fitting description of what appears in the video, although that doesn't necessarily mean it is the definitive explanation here. Whatever it is, though, is most certainly creepy, and as for right now, unexplainable. Just be on the lookout for this creature if you ever visit Norway. All I know is with that title, I'm gonna go to Norway and make a gay bar and call it Norwegian War Monster. I believe that shit will be a bop. I have a good friend named Nino. I'm pretty sure he'd be the co-owner of my shop. Oh, of my bar. Norwegian Worm Monster. That's a beautiful bar. Especially for it being a gay bar. I'm down for that. I'm gonna go get my... European gay, which is Nino, and I'll make that happen. I fucking love that name. Norwegian Worm Monster. That sounds beautiful. Number one. While recording Fuck off. Drum tracks for Ian. Music, oh, look, Ian and Anthony from Smosh combined together. He was doing the recording. He thought of doing some vlogs, but says that he couldn't concentrate because it was so, so we got creepy. Smosh at home. He ended up giving up and never recorded the vlogs. He like says he life. recently found the footage he took and happened to look through it and nearly had a nervous breakdown when he saw what it revealed. Or Watch this. Okay. Okay. Oh, that hair. Um, 
Hey, Beaver. Uh, or Ian Hedcox. That's my life. I can't even see myself. I don't know if this is okay. Never mind. Oh. I'm not, this is, I'm not doing this right. Um, okay. I can't even see myself. I don't know if this is okay. Never mind. Out of nowhere, some kind of strange apparition can be seen wandering near the staircase behind the uploader. Sadly, there isn't a whole lot of context provided with this video. But we do know that it was filmed inside of a school located somewhere in Seattle. However, Seattle, sadly, the Washington refused to disclose the name of the school for whatever reason. It's a shame though, because if we knew the name of the school, then folks on the internet could do some proper digging and see if the school has a history of being haunted or just has any sort of dark secrets. For now though, this mystery will have to remain unsolved. And that was 13. You're telling me with the power of TikTok, where you see all these Karens doing stupid shit, and for some reason in the comment section, it will be a person that docks the person with all their information, or it will be a very pretty girl where for some reason, that's one thing about TikTok, no one ever credits. And it makes it like an oxymoron because there's a TikTok and I'm not even saying Sarah Spook's name. And all my parts. The reason that is because the full video is recorded somewhere else that deals with a red a background towards its, you know, I can't say the word, but you catch my drift. It's the reason why I have this here. But with this being here, that's where my things are uploaded on here. In the beginning, I credit everything. At the end, I credit everything. But during the TikToks, I just take my full video, break it into parts, and put it as TikToks. That's how I do it, but it's a credit. If you look at the bottom of my TikTok, in the bottom of this TikTok, just say Sir Spook's reaction playlist. The point I'm trying to make is you'll find all these individuals that for some strange reason, they have some type of investigational ability to find people. They will find the ats for very pretty girls. They will find the ats of People who are being dickheads, Karens, Kevins, all kind of sorts. You're telling me people can't find this place? Let this go viral. Someone can find this place and then give you the information and all the history of it. I bet you. But with that being said, this was my reaction to 13 scary videos that will haunt your sleep. Uh, it is 9 o'clock in the morning. I have not slept at all. I'm going to go to sleep. And I will see if there's any haunting nightmares. But like I said in the very beginning of the video, I'm still down for other styles of haunted and horror videos. I don't mind actually watching the full investigation of some of these videos. I'm fine with that. Or just looking at other videos that just shows either highly edited horror shorts. I'm fine with that too. If it's like two or three minutes, I'll do what I did on my second channel. Back when I used to use my second channel as a reaction channel, I would just compile maybe three to four of those short horror videos and make them into one video. I just watch them back to back to back. I'm going to stop yapping. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, love your faces. I'm going to sleep. Peace.